Hey, Miguel Martinez Juarez here. Uh, today I want to talk about a quote that I got from the book. Um, what was the name right here? It's the. It's by Florence. Where did I write it? The Game of Life and How to Play It by Florence Scovel Shin. Okay? So I attracted this book. And it's because I told myself I'm going to do content every single day on YouTube. Um, it first popped out to me on Leo Alexandra's um, description. I watched one of her videos. I took their description. Um, one of her videos. And this book stood out. And then later on, I saw it on my, on my feed. And I said, okay, I'll listen to it. Beep. And I was just blown away. I was like, wow. Okay. And the reason I want to talk about this, this, um, this quote is because it tells you about the action that you must take. In my previous video, I talked about um, the how, right, is in the domain of the universe. It's God's work, right? You just say what you want. You start the, the creation process by saying what you want. But the how is, is God's domain, you know. God's going to bring the ideas, inspiration, the hunches, the events, the people, circumstances, so that you get to your goal okay um, but you start the attraction process you have to ask okay ask and you shall receive all right and you ask by focusing right by your thought by seeing something in there vision uh, having a vision envisioning right Florence calls in envisioning when you're connected to to source to God to the higher plan when you um, use visualization and you're only going to what you want so she makes a different differentiation, which uh, it's a very uh, important to look at, right? And uh, just um, think about. It. Okay, you can always get that divine plan by just asking for the divine plan. Like, dear God, dear Source, what is my divine plan here on Earth? What is my purpose? Basically. All right. So here, here's the quote. Here's the action you must take. All right. Let's get started. Okay. Act of faith. Is how you pass to the promised land. Act of faith is how you pass to the promised land. Act of faith is how you pass to the promised land. And what do you mean? Like you're like, what do you mean by acts of faith? Okay, so here, here's one example, right? In the Bible, there's three kings that she talks about who um, uh, speak to Elijah, the prophet, and they have to dig ditches, right? Because the water is going to come, right? Rain is going to come. And... They didn't know, it didn't look like it was going to rain. It didn't look like anything. So what they had to do is dig the ditches. So they're, they tell them, they're telling their subconscious mind essentially that they're going to get water, all right? Before any evidence of it, okay? Before any evidence of it, all right? And because Elijah knows the laws, right? If you hold it in here, if you hold it in your mind, you hold it in your hand. Now, here's another example. Um... An example that I want to talk about is the one that she talks about in her book. She says she had a, a client or someone she was helping out who needed money. And they uh, they went to go eat lunch and he said and she told she told her, you know, the person that, that needed help with the money, pay as if you had all the money in the world. Okay? Just pay. Don't worry. Know that the time the money's gonna come in the perfect time. Okay? abundance is your birthright right all your source is not from from the money they have in your pocket your source is God infinite intelligence right source and so long as you claim you ask it you will claim it you will get it you demand it you will get it okay so that's an example right taking that taking that leap right another one that uh, another example is one that Bob Proctor talks about in getting a home he says go see the home Go talk to a real estate agent. You don't need to know the how. You don't need to have the money. All right? You don't need to have none of that stuff, okay? Start writing. You, once you find out which home you want, where what place you want, you start writing um, housewarming party invitations and send them out, okay? That's showing profound faith, okay? For me, for example, I do this one if you want a car. Um, get the frame from the car, from the license plate, before you get the car, or buy um, air fresheners for the car, buy the uh, wheel. You could buy a, like a 
a wheel thing, right? A wheel protector, a steering wheel protector for it. You buy a little little toy that you can stick on or the, the GPS mechanism, right? That you can stick onto your car. That's called faith. You're doing the, the acts of faith. Here's another one for uh, relationships, right? Oh, there, this is an example of, uh, of one that she talks about, okay? So I'll do the one that, that I've been taught um, by Bob Proctor and the one that, um, um, the one that she talks about. Bob Proctor says, if you want um, the love of your life to come into your home, make room in the garage, right? If you have a two garage, make sure that the, the, her, her car or his car is, uh, could, could come in. Empty out the second, ha the, the, the second half of your closet, right? Because the person's going to come in to live. Empty out the, the right side, right? And know that it's going to come. And you got to think, feel, and behave like that person. Think, think, feel, and act like that person already that's in the in their loving relationship. So here's the situation with somebody with uh, a woman who was already in a relationship. The husband, um, they got they got in a fight, so the husband left, and she created a statement as well. The the woman um, that connected her with Source, right? Because you you're unlimited. You have everything. You can be, do, and have anything. Okay. And um, here's the here's the um, the quote. Okay, that the woman made. She said. There is no separation in divine mind. Therefore, I cannot be separated from the love and companionship, which are mine by divine right. Divine right. All right. Abundance is your birthright. The only, the only limitations we have are the ones that we created from the conscious mind, right? The conscious mind has a lot of that stuff because we're, we're programmed with the physical. But the divine mind has everything. Everything comes from the divine, right? From the subconscious and the superconscious, okay? Or God, you can call God, the infinite intelligence. And um, so she said that, and when she would prepare um, her meals, guess what? She would set a second plate, right? Another pair of plates for her husband. And in time, I think, I think it was a month or more um, that passed, I think. And the husband came back. I think it was a few months. A few months passed and the husband came back. But she stayed true to her acts and true to her faith. And it came to pass. Okay? Alright? She went to the promised land. Now, in some cases, the person who you're with is not the person who's divinely your partner. Okay? But you're connected always to the love and source. So, um, in time, source is going to bring you your divine partner the right partner right and you're gonna, it's just gonna be no loss because you're always gonna have that that feeling of love right that feeling of love and being with that partner okay because feeling precedes manifestation okay so i hope you like this one this one um it, i said this is my second take because i had to redo it and um i hope you like this one okay and if you want more resources just click below the video to the um the audiobook um on YouTube is gonna be below and it's free. Okay, so go check it out. R listen to that video as well. Okay, um, to listen to the the words from um, Florence. Okay, and thank you. Until next time.